Big Bang Theory was running into some serious problems in explaining the character of our universe. Then in the 1980s, scientists developed some refinements to this theory, most notably Alan Guth and Andre Linde, who worked on the idea that the universe didn't expand uniformly over time. Rather, a mere 10 to the minus 38 seconds after the Big Bang, there was a short but intense period of the exponential growth in the size of the universe, increasing by a factor of 10 to the 30th, from smaller than an electron to the size of a basketball within about 10 to the minus 36 seconds. For some reason, this faster-than-light expansion then lost a significant portion of its steam. The universe thus continued to expand, but at a more leisurely pace, relatively speaking. So this intense expansion of space, starting 10 to the minus 38 seconds after the Big Bang and ending soon thereafter, is called cosmic inflation. Here's a graphic that illustrates this inflationary formation of the universe. Starting with the Big Bang as a pinprick here, and then quickly inflating in size in a hyper sort of way, followed by a more gradual expansion of space. The Big Bang helium nucleosynthesis we talked about in the last lesson occurred between 0.01 seconds and 3 minutes. From there on, the universe remained an opaque cloud of plasma until about 380,000 years later. At this point, the universe was cool enough for electrons to join with the hydrogen and helium nuclei to make neutral atoms. Space thus became transparent, allowing light waves to flow freely through space as it does today. If this is indeed what happened, with cosmic inflation immediately following the Big Bang as a separate event, then there's much that can be explained about the characteristics of our universe. Let's talk about how inflation explains those characteristics in the next lesson. Good science to you. Thank you.